when we derived the formula for area, we used vertical rectangles, but there's no inherent reason that we should have to use a vertical rectangles. That is to say, if you've got some region whose area you're trying to approximate, you could just as well slice it up into horizontal rectangles and approximate the areas of these horizontal rectangles. Add those approximations up, take a limit, and get an integral. If a region is bounded on the right by a curve f of y and on the left by a curve G of Y, its area is the integral of f of y minus g of y dy. You'll notice that if you're using horizontal curves and left, I should say horizontal rectangles and left and right bounds instead of top and bottom, everything is in terms of y, including these limits of integration. So if this is the curve in question, We've got a lower limit and an upper limit, not a left and a right bound the way we do with the vertical rectangles. In the next video, we'll do an example. Whoa.